Genesis 34 The Dinah Incident Now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she had borne to Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when she came, the son of Hamor, the Hevite, prince of the country, saw her. He took her and lay with her, and violated her. His soul was strongly attracted to Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the young woman, and spoke kindly to the young woman. So Sechem spoke to his father, Hamer, saying, Get me this young woman as a wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter. Now his sons were with his livestock in the field. So Jacob held his peace until they came. Then Hamer, the father of Sechem, went out to Jacob, to speak with him, and the sons of Jacob came in from the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved and very angry, because he had done a disgraceful thing in Israel by laying with Jacob's daughter, a thing which ought not to be done. But Hamor spoke with them, saying, The soul of my son, Sechem, longs for your daughter. Please give her to him as a wife, and make marriages with us. Give your daughters to us, and take our daughters to yourself. So you shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before we. Dwell and trade in it, and acquire possessions for yourself in it. Then Sekem said to her father and her brothers, Let me find favor in your eyes, and whatever you say to me I will give. Ask me ever so much dowry and gift, and I will give according to what you say to me. But give me the young woman as a wife. But the sons of Jacob answered Sekem and Hamer his father, and spoke deceitfully, because he had defiled Dinah, their sister, and they say to them, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that would be a reproach to us. But on this condition we will consent to you, if you will become as we are, if every male of you is circumcised, then we will give our daughters to you and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if you will not heed us and be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and be gone. And their words pleased Hamer, and they came, Hamer's son. So the young man did not delay to do the thing, because he delighted in Jacob's daughter. He was more honorable than all the household of his father. And Hamer and Sechem his son came to the gate of the city and spoke with the men of the city, saying, These men are at peace with us. Therefore let them dwell in the land and trade in it. For indeed the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us as wives and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition will the men consent to dwell with us, to be one people. If every male among us is circumcised as they are circumcised, will not their livestock, their property, and every animal of theirs be ours? Only let us consent to them, and they will dwell with us. And all who went out of the gate of his city, he did hammer, and say came his son. Every male was circumcised, all who went out of the gate of his city. Now it came to pass on the third day, when they were in pain, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, each took his sword and came boldly upon the city and killed all the males, and they killed Hamer and Sekim, his son, with the ace of the sword, and took Dinah from Sekim's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and plundered the city. 
because their sister had been defiled. They took their sheep, their oxen, their donkeys, what was in the city and what was in the field, and all their wealth, all their little ones and their wives they took captive, and they plundered even all that was in the house. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have troubled me by making me obnoxious among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and since I am few in number, they will gather themselves together against me and kill me. I shall be destroyed, my household and I. But they said, Should he treat our sister like a harlot?